Okay, so today we are going to be talking about this saga that has been going on on social media, okay? It has been going on for days now. The whole place is actually on fire. There is fire on the mountain, if you know what I mean, okay? People are attacking Yemi Alade from left, right, and center because of her latest music video, <clears throat> which she titled Oga, meaning boss. For those of you who doesn't know, Yemi Alade is actually a popular Nigerian music artist, Afro-pop singer, and a songwriter. Loved by many and followed by many as well. But there is a problem because the Benin people are having issues. They are so mad at Yemi Alade, okay, because of this same song, okay. But I don't know much about the Benin culture, but I know that the people of Benin value and respect their culture and tradition so so much. The people of Benin Kingdom are having serious issues with Yemi Alade due to the fact that she was dressed in the Obav's regalia in her latest um, music video. Therefore disrespecting and mocking the Oba Ay Re the second of Benin Kingdom. <clears throat> that is according to their um, comments, according to what people actually um, um, angry about. Many people are actually offended by this singular act of Yemi Alade, coupled with the fact that Yemi Alade is a woman and has, I mean, it has never been heard in the history of Benin Kingdom that anyone dares to wear the Oba's regalia, let alone a woman. Okay, the problem is not just that Yemi Alade was dressed in the Oba's regalia, it's also the fact that she is a woman, okay, that it has never been heard in the history of um, Benin Kingdom that anybody dares it, let alone a woman that is even not from the kingdom, okay. So that she actually committed a sacrilege by wearing this regalia and is an insult to the king and to the kingdom and that she has to bring down the video. So that's what people are saying. They are ranting that she has to bring down the video and apologize to the king and kingdom, okay? But guys, here is my question for you people. Why do you want this lady to take down the video? She has put so much effort and resources in creating. Eh? Don't forget that this same Oba that we are talking about, the Oba Ewaire II, is a peace-loving king. So you guys should stop causing confusion and commotion everywhere. Listen guys, Yemi Alade is a popular music artist. She also knows her limits eh, as an artist and she might have obtained the king's permission before even um, taking such bold steps. Don't you guys think so? Or you think she'll just wake up one day and just decide to make the song? Because, um, you know, she's a music artist. What if, my question is, what if she had the king's permission? We are here ranting. We are here cons causing confusion and commotion all over the place. What if she had the king's support? Or what if she had done her research properly before venturing into such a, a, a thing? I think you guys are blowing this whole thing out of proportion, guys. Okay, and I read a lot of, I read a lot of comments. Okay, I saw many, many comments about people regarding this issue, about people actually abusing, raining all sort of abuses on this lady, Kilo De. You guys should let her have a break, raining all sort of abuse, even up to the extent that a lot of people are even wishing her dead. Ah. This is actually too extreme. You guys have taken it to the next level. It's uncalled for. Don't wish her to die. Are you God? Can you give life? If you are not God that gives life, do not wish people to die. Because it's only God that gives life that can decide who lives or who dies. Uh -uh. We all are mortals. If you are not God, do not, do not wish her to die. Don't get me wrong, okay? Do not get me wrong, guys. I'm not supporting Yemi Alade for anything. 
But you guys don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, I'm not supporting Yemi Alade. I'm not even her fan. The only song I know is actually I'm looking for Johnny. And this one that I listened to a few days back. Okay. I'm not even her fan to start with. I'm not supporting her. <clears throat> but all I'm saying, guys, is that you should take it easy on her. Because she's human. And we all make mistakes at a certain point in our life. At a certain stage in our lives, we all make mistakes. Nobody is a saint. Nobody is beyond mistake, okay? <clears throat> you guys are giving this issue so much attention, okay? Than necessary. It's too much. There are bigger problems in Nigeria or Benin Kingdom itself that need urgent attention and solution. Why don't we look into other matters instead of um, putting our our whole energy on Yemi Alade. Eh? And what I noticed is that in the same video, I saw that Yemi Alade was dressed also in Yoruba and Igbo skins um, regalia. So why are these people not coming for her? Why are they not complaining? Why is it that it's just the those? Does it mean that others does not respect their culture and tradition? Eh? <clears throat> Paid herself as God. I think she's just being creative, okay? If you ask me, she's just being creative. She's, she's promoting African culture, and that's it. As she, she's been adventurous, okay? But however, guys, you should try and forgive her. A lot of people are saying she's not even from Benin City, okay? That now. I mean, enough of the tribalism already. If you are scolding her because she, she wore the Oba's regalia, it's fine. Do not scold her because you think she's not fit or she's not qualified just because she's not from Edo State. That shouldn't be an issue. That's madness, okay? So you guys stop. Okay. And mind you, Nigeria and Africa is not the only place people will view these hateful comments. You should remind yourself that, I mean, you should just m be mindful of the kind of image you try to portray. What are you trying to show to the people outside? What kind, how do you, how are you trying to paint us? It's not dumb. Before people think of doing such a thing, and she's a Nigerian, she knows how much people love and respect culture and tradition in that country. So she might have made a lot of research. She might have done her, her findings before going into such adventure. Don't you guys think?